Hey everybody, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush, finally coming to you to give you our review of the Fluidity FT Aviator. Now you've heard about this thing before. It's the one-handed, or rather the joystick control to let you take control of your DJI drones. And the machine does just that and it does it quite well. Let's find out more in this quick review. So you've heard the pitch on this guy before. It's designed by Scott Parazinski, an astronaut, also an accomplished pilot. He's piloted fighter jets as well as some commercial airliners. And this joystick is designed after those fighter jets. So one-handed control. That being said, you do need to support the base so you can operate it. I've opted to attach a small tripod mount so I can attach it to a tripod it makes it truly one-handed operation. There's the optional support arm for your smartphone, but of course the device connects via Bluetooth to your smart device. So this is only so that you can see your display handily. If you have somebody else on the controls or even your controller with smartphone on a different tripod at, at your side, or of course attached around your neck, then you can operate this thing just without the support arm. Operation is quite simple. One-handed control, there's a thumb catch, which is a trigger, a two-way trigger. Pull with your index finger, makes the drone go up. Push with your thumb, brings the drone back to the ground. Forward and backwards is forwards and backwards for the drone. Left and right, same story. Now, if you twist the remote, it twists, that controls the yaw of your drone, or the spinning, if you will, and it's just as it says, twist left or right. Now you can of course do all of these operations all at the same time, and again, theoretically, with one hand. Your second hand, supporting the base of the controller, has quick access, thumb controls for photo and video, a nose dial to control the gimbal on the camera, a secondary custom button, you can program it to do any function you need. Up on top is a camera dial, and then a speed dial, if you will, or rather a sensitivity control one or turtle mode makes when you push the drone forward it goes small slowly pull the trigger it raises slowly five well you get the full speed out of the drone and then the back of the controller houses of course the power button return to home button and an auto takeoff button so in the end you can completely control the drone from ground to the sky and back to the ground all with this single device now, as mentioned, the Fluidity FT Aviator connects via Bluetooth to your smart device. You then use your smart device or phone to connect wirelessly to your DJI drone or connect it via cable to the DJI remote control. You fire up the Fluidity app, which uses all of the DJI plugins, so that it has its own very similar looking to the DJI Go 4 app, but it's an alternative and it can control the drone. Within the app, you can control whether or not the remote control or the FT Aviator is controlling the drone. You can swap back and forth. And of course there's controls to adjust sensitivities and stuff as well. One of my favorite things is while you're flying, the dial up top gives you an indication of your drone's nose direction, as well as its proximity to you at the controller. This is a pretty handy thing to do. Myself, I'm usually staring up at the drone anyway, so I can see where it's at. But of course the nose indicator is pretty helpful at a quick glance. Battery life has been great. I've done some testing and then one full drone battery on the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. As you can see, I'm only down one LED bar. So I suspect I can get upwards of two hours of flight time out of the controller. That being said, I haven't thoroughly tested battery life, so that's just a guess. Don't, don't quote me on it. When it comes to responsiveness, I found that the controls were very responsive. They were spot on with the drone, minimal, no delay that I could really notice. That being said, there was a delay I found with the camera. Not so much moving the camera. As soon as you hit the trigger, the camera moves. But for some reason, it was adding a little bit of a video delay. And so by the time the camera articulated, the video on the live screen feed was a little bit off. And then I would let go and then the video would finally jump and catch up. So I found I was over panning a little bit for my planned shots, but that's just practice. I need some more time with it. And of course, turn down the sensitivity to reduce that speed of the camera movement and it should clean up. At the end of the day, my opinion of the Fluidity FT Aviator is very positive. 
is very fun and fluid to fly the drones. They're very effective as well, and a great way to clean up one hand if you have a tripod mount. That being said, it didn't really offer any benefits over the DJI controller. It was just an alternative experience that uh, many may be more comfortable with. Of course, myself and younger generations grew up with video games, so we all know how to work a two joystick controller, but a lot of people out there are not familiar with that, and maybe not even comfortable with it. There may even be handicaps or mobility issues where one-handed operation makes a difference. In that case, I know of no better controller than the FT Aviator. And that brings up my bottom line on this device. It is an accessory. You do not need it to fly your DJI drones. It is simply an alternative way to do so, and I think it's worth considering. So in the end, we give this device a thumbs up, and if you're liking what you see here, please give us a thumbs up as well. We appreciate your time. We're looking forward to getting more drone reviews and more accessory reviews coming for you. If you want to see what's coming next, make sure you hit that bell icon when you subscribe. And on that, thanks again for joining us. Get out there and fly safe.